All right, have this machine here. It's a Kubota that has some kind of V-twin engine on it. This is a Briggs and Stratton. Kind of looking over the mower here to see what it's going to take. I plan on taking this off the engine deck, putting it up on a mount test stand to check and see really close where this leak is coming from. So this video is just about a walk around, seeing what it's going to take. Thanks for coming by. Subscribe if you would. Leave some comments. Uh, there are plenty of other videos on the channel. Enjoy. And it's got an oil leak. <clears throat> Trying to find out where exactly this leak's coming from. The uh, the owner is telling me that after it runs for a bit and after shutdown especially, it comes out around this uh, oil filter area. What I did yesterday was I used just a mixture of like water and uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid and just sprayed the heck out of it. I actually had him power wash it before I asked him to power wash it before he even came over here, yet still there was just stuff when he got it here in the uh, cooling fins on the deck. It was still pretty dirty, but uh, I went ahead and squirted it down myself and got, got it fairly clean, a lot cleaner. And now you can see I'm seeing, this has been sitting all night, and I got this piece of paper in here that I just laid down on the deck and just to kind of see where this might be coming from. It, it seems really heavy right in here. I don't know if you can see the tip of my finger going around right in there, just to the left of the oil filter right here. You can see my finger. That seems to be about the heaviest spot, and it might be coming down from this little ledge right here. It's going down in there, there's a little ledge to the left of the oil filter and then maybe dripping off of that. It's kind of hard to tell, but it does seem to come, be coming from kind of the top here. So that's, it's really not that bad. It's not that thick with oil. And that could be actually the sump gasket. So I'm gonna take and probably Work this off again, get the engine off, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put it on a, uh, we suspect that the uh, bottom main crankshaft seal, the sump seal, uh, from what this looks like, it could actually be the sump gasket itself that is causing this, but it's just almost impossible to see with this engine on the machine, so, may end up having to pull this off and put it on uh, my test bench with some clean paper underneath the whole thing so I can then fire it up and go from there and do a little troubleshooting to see exactly where this is coming from. Um, maybe get it running in a dark, I like to have it in a dark room with a flashlight to so we can really laser focus in on every little section around the bottom of the engine around the sump underneath so we can take a look as it's running and then after shutdown what's going on with it so it's just kind of hard to pinpoint it right now you can't see exactly it's a very crowded space in here um, this shield this like a cooling duct basically is what that is you got the shroud that goes over here. The fan spins and it's either drawing up through here or blowing down air, cooling air, past the uh, cooling fins of the head and the cylinder there, air-cooled engine. So I don't ever want to run it too long or if I do uh, during the testing of this because the guy, the guy didn't leave the shroud. I kept asking him, he dropped it off when I wasn't around, and I asked if he still had the top cover for it. He's like, oh, it's still got the fan on there. Well, the fan doesn't really do anything if you don't have the shroud. I mean, it just it's out here spinning, it's blowing air around, but it's, it's meant to blow it past the uh, cooling fins. So that's what the uh, cover does. It's just basically a duct work to divert cooling air over the fins. So we'll uh, probably be yanking this motor off to get to the source of the uh, of the problem here and see if we can positively identify the leak.
Okay, I decided to take off this little uh, engine duct right here that wraps around the head. So we got to take the spark plug off, spark plug wire, and then there's one, there's a screw that holds it here and a screw that holds it here. These are already off. Then there's one underneath and a, it's probably not right, uh, it's a 5 sixteenths that fit on that pretty good to get it loose. And I would recommend, oh, uh, here, where is it? Here it is. So here's that. It's pretty small. But I mean, it hung on to the very last thread and it sucks because it's, uh, it's a burger to get to up underneath there. Underneath. And you just gotta like get up underneath there like that and turn it off. So I got it loose and I'm gonna see how much oil is laying on that. Okay, now I've got a, I got a little air line going to this, whatever this canister thing is, I don't even know what it is. And of course this freaking thing is filthy dirty. That old, uh, that old line, look at that, I, this just sucks. Okay. All right, so this should be ready to remove, and I just want to see. All right, there's not a lot of oil on that panel, this panel right here. I'm trying to get it out without disturbing all the goo on it too much. Get it out. Get out. Get out. <clears throat> okay, so here is this and the oil seemed to be it was coming like out of a head gasket I mean this is kind of damp this is probably just water and then just dirt and debris that got down around the cooling fins that dropped down in here I don't it looks to me like it's not the head gasket based on this otherwise I mean the oil would be collected all up on here so just put that to the side see if I can get a little bit better view down here now of what's going on maybe I can see a little better so that's uh, get a little bit better view of it looks like on that full uh, the rear mounting point right here there's a lot of oil on that Right now, I'm kind of suspecting sump. Okay, this has got a lot of debris and oil and nasty stuff. I'll probably take this over and hose this off, get this clean again. And it uh, looks like we'll be... Dang it. Pulling that engine right in here where that screw comes up. There's a lot of oil right in there. I'm suspecting the sump right now sump gasket. I'll probably be pulling this engine. All right, about ready to pull this engine out of here and set it on a test bench to properly see if we can get this thing uh, to show us where it's leaking. So we got uh, basically the fuel line. What's connecting this? The fuel line and we have this uh, little accumulator thing over here. I don't even know what this does. Uh, might be uh, just to vent the tank. Any uh, excessive tank fumes, I think, it goes through this and then back into the intake. Four bolts on the bottom, of course. They come up from the bottom and bolt into the engine sump. Then we have basically just this plug and the solenoid is all electrically that uh, connects it. So we got the solenoid and then the uh, harness plug. And then on the bottom, of course, there's the, gotta take the clutch. 
down off and then the uh, drive pulley for the hydros. Here's the drive pulley for the hydros, the clutch, and here's the clutch keeper arm. We'll have to take that off. That kind of goes up here and mounts into there. These are all a little different depending on what machine you got. And that should be about it. Where is the tensioner for okay the tension spring for the for the hydros I'm looking for that there's the looks like there's the idler right there that pulley back in there and where is the uh, tensioner okay so there's the tension spring back up in there you can see that see that spring So we'll loosen that up and we'll get the uh, tension off of that uh, hydro pulley. First, we'll go ahead and get the clutch off. This is usually a 5 8 And then what's holding this on? Yeah, we got the PTO wires, of course, that go to the clutch. Find out where the plug is. So the plug is up here on the engine deck someplace. And really located it yet okay yeah that's up here next to the uh, main wire harness for the for the mower so up in here where that blue and two blue wires go right here that's the plug for the uh, PTO right there got my hand on it's kind of it's back behind the solenoid right there if you can see it so we'll take those all off and pull this motor. I'll get my son up here to help me out with this thing.